Hey guys, how are you doing today? My name is Andrew and I'm with GC Term Rank Control and today I'm here to give you a couple of examples on how to measure your property for a fumigation. You have to know how to measure your property for a fumigation to know that you're getting a good bid and that a proper job is being performed by your property. The all fumigations they go based on the size of the house that means the bigger the house the more fumigant it's going to be needed the more uh, that it's going to cost you so again that is why it's very important that at least you you know how to get an idea of how big your your house is that way you can compare you know review it with your technician and again make sure that the job is going to be done properly because if not you know even if the job is guaranteed you don't have want to have to move out another three days two nights out of the house or going through the tile damage again or you know many of the things that could happen during a fumigation so even though you know fumig uh, fumigation is it's a very good to control extensive infestations again you want to make sure it's done properly so that you don't have to do it again in the near future right here i have three examples of uh, different types of houses that way you can get a better idea on how to get the volume for your house if you go on to your own to our website gctermicontrol.com in the blog section the article section there is an article on how to measure your house for a fumigation it's going to give you detailed instructions and the formulas that are necessary in order to make the calculations that i'm going to be making today but uh they are pretty basic so uh you know even if you go online or google it you'll be able to find them uh, pretty quickly okay so the first house is going to be the most simple one which is going to be just a rectangle a one-story rectangle uh you know let's call it an older property being that it was uh it's a bit small uh, i made it 20 feet by 40 feet uh, and then uh with a height on the on the first story of 10 feet and a four feet height on the attic so in order to get the volume for this property you pretty much have to multiply the two walls and get the area which is going to be 25 by 40 and then you have to multiply that by the height uh, because the attic usually is going to be in a triangle you want to get the average size for for that so what you're going to have to do is measure you know to the highest peak and then divide that by by two which in this case i mentioned it was going to be a four foot attic so divided by two that's going to be uh, a two feet a two feet average uh, height for the attic so that means that we're going to multiply 25 by 40 by 12 and that's going to give us 12,000 so in uh, fumigation terms if you want to call them uh, we don't go by thousands we just call it a 12m uh, you know each thousand cubic feet is considered 1m so uh, that's the way that we use to uh, calculate you know how much fumigant is going to be needing the day of the fumigation uh, you know to calculate the prices for the fumigation so uh, again you know just just uh, something to make it easier on us I guess <laughs> uh, so let's jump in into the second example this is going to be very common here in California an L-shaped home so uh, you know there is really not a formula to get the volume out of a L-shaped form but what you can do is break out the house into two different sections two rectangles that way you can get the volume of both of them and then add them up together so again this is going to be a one-story house so the height is going to be the same 10 foot for the first story and then two feet average height for the attic so that's going to give us a 12 foot height okay so uh, the top section it's 20 by 40 so we can multiply 20 by 40 by 12 and then the second section where the garage is going to be it's going to be 30 feet on the wall of the garage door by 15 feet small garage I guess uh, that's going to be 15 by 30 by 12 on the height again and uh, it's going to give us 5400 so if we add both of them together 5400 and 9600 for the uh, other larger section it gives us gives us 15,000 or 15 amps as uh, you know we it, it's it's uh, used in the industry okay it's more commonly referred like that um, so again pretty simple uh, way of obtaining the volume and just double checking that everything's gonna, gonna be done properly and then I'm gonna go I'm gonna throw in a little bit of a harder example now I'm gonna put a second story or on one part of a house 
that way you see you know how we can um, we can incorporate it into our calculations and make sure that we're st still getting the proper volume so uh, the second story part of the house it's, it's where it, the garage is at and this one's gonna be 30 by 63 okay there's the 30 by 63 the only thing that's gonna change now it's gonna be the height being that we have two stories we have to do 10 feet for the first story 10 feet for the second story and then add the extra two feet for the average height of the attic which is gonna bring us to 22 feet of total height for that section so it's gonna be 30 by 63 by 22 then we have to get the volume of the uh, section that is one story the other re rectangle this area right here it's 25 by 35 by 12 again it's only one story so 10 feet for the first floor and then two feet average height for the attic in that section okay so if we multiply both of them it's gonna give us a total of 52,080 so here's where the tricky part comes in whenever you're dealing with volume for fumigation you always have to round up unless it's an exact number so in this case being that it's 52,080 it has to be rounded up to 53 amps so that's the measurement that it's going to be used to again fumigate the property and to calculate the price on the home uh, there are other scenarios that could that you could come across for example if you have a crawl space then you have to add the uh, height of the crawl space to your total height so as an example if you were doing the basic house let's say it's 25 by 40 times 12 because of the height but in this time instead of the 12 foot height it's going to be 16 foot height because let's say that you have a four foot four feet crawl space plus your 10 feet of the first floor plus your two feet average, average height that would be 16. so again if we were to get the volume for a property like that let me just run the number really quick so 25 by 40 by 16 you would be looking at 16,000 or 16 m instead of the 12 m okay so uh don't forget all the areas in your house they have to be accounted for uh patios decks anything that's attached to the structure it has to be added to the volume because it's going to be covered it's going to be fumigated as well so we have to take it into consideration if you have a lower number you might get a lower bid but then again you're going to have a fumigation process that is not going to be efficient it's not going to work so most probably you're going to have to be refumigated many times as i mentioned you're going to be under guarantee so you know it it's not uh you know the end of the world but again you know you're going to have to go through more hassle you're going to have to spend money to stay in a hotel because fumigations you know they they're guaranteed for the for the treatment but they will not pay your expenses if you have to do it again so that's again that's one of the biggest reasons why you want to make sure that the house is measured properly and that the process goes as it needs to uh, as, it, as it needs to go because again if not you're gonna have to redo it again and it's just you know going through a lot of headaches so uh, yeah if you have any questions you know on how to measure your house or how to prepare for a fumigation uh, if really anything related to wood destroying organisms pest control uh, repairs painting you know we can help you with that so feel free to contact us uh, but yeah make sure to measure your house make sure to discuss it with your technician that way you ensure that you're gonna have a quality job done that it's you know it's gonna do what it needs to do it's gonna exterminate all of your drywood termites or you know whatever bug you're going after whatever pest, pest bug you're going after and uh, yeah so again this was Andrew with GC termite control and if you have any questions Feel free to leave them in the comment box below uh, please like this video if you liked it and subscribe to our channel if you would like to receive more information about pest control for wood destroying organisms all right